afternoon or good evening, folks, whatever the case may be. The uh, Sports Report is on the air with Garrett Patterson and yours truly, uh, Bill Crane. And we're here to talk about all sports. Right, let's, yeah. And let's do it. Let's do it. First of all, Gary, we have a couple of games to pick. Oh, okay, yeah, we got the yeah. Pats at home. Now, this has gone from nine and a half to eight and a half to seven and a half this morning. That's what I understand. I even heard seven this afternoon. Uh, how, do you want to change it to seven? Uh, seven and a half is fine. Okay. Uh, so, it's a Pats at home against Jacksonville. Right. And your thinking is? I like the Pats at home to yep. cover the points. I think yep. Brady's going to be okay. Gary and Bill, both. Yeah. Pats. Yeah. Uh, look, if... It's going to be, I think it's going to be a comedy of errors for the Patriots to lose. Now, let me ask you another question before we go any further. I sat and watched last week's game. Yep. Are the Patriots that good? Or was the opposition that bad? Yeah, a little bit of both. A little bit of both, but the, I think the Patriots were pretty good, actually. You know, and Tennessee is what they are. I, they were a struggle to even make the playoffs coming down the stretch. Yeah. They you got know, some individuals. They got some individuals, but Mariota uh, but, had a bad year. You know, what's the deal with Mariota, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. is he for real or I, not? You know, Mariota had... If I had, had their coach after they lost, right? What a crummy deal it, yeah. that was. Got him to the playoffs, yep. had to play the Patriots, and yeah. lost. I mean, you know. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, and she rewarded him, and she said, oh, boy, you know, I'm so proud of blah, blah, blah. We're yeah. extending him, and... Out he went. Boonk, Out right he went. off with yeah. his head. Yeah. That stunk. Hmm. I really did. Uh but that could be a pretty good job, though. You know, yes, uh, it could. Down but there in you Nashville. know what? I I tell you this: is there takers for Mariota? Uh, yeah, I think they're going to be. They're better off keeping him and seeing if they can resurrect him. I mean, he yeah. had a, he had a decent start to his career. Absolutely digressed this year. But what this is what his third year. Yeah. So, you know. If they move him, they're going to take 50 cents on the dollar for him. Well, can they get a number one for him? Uh, they might be able to get a number one for him, yeah. But mm, he's yeah. gone. I'd get rid of him. Even if it's a late? You know what? you got to have a quarterback. I know that. But by gosh, I want, I want Brady. I want Roethlisberger. I want the big guy that stands in the pocket. Yeah. And well... What's your alternative, though, for Tennessee? You know, you're going to ship Mariota out, you're going to get a first-round pick, and then what are you going to do, draft one of these quarterbacks in the draft that nobody knows well, now. who's what? Now. You know, so now you're talking about two or three years till our new quarterback gets better. That's not going to play. This young fellow playing for Washington kicking around. Cousins? That may or may yeah. not be available. i sure as hell rather have him. He's going to be in demand. There's no question. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's probably the big piece, right? Yeah. That's yep. going to cause all the other pieces to start to fall in place. And, and Garoppolo was the big piece. He's settled now. Yep. He's and, in San and, Francisco. And now I'm going to go now right. Now it's Cousins. I'm going to go crazy right now for you. Yep. Right before your very wow. eyes. I try calling Indianapolis and saying, are you done with Jacoby Brissett yet? Yeah. I would rather have him than Mariota. Well, you could probably get him if Fluck is healthy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you know what? They're going to keep Brissett till the very end of yeah. training camp. You know, I, I, I respectfully disagree. I don't give up on Mariota. I think he was hurt this year, right? He had some injury problems. He played through it. But he, but he you know, I mean, he clearly dipped. There's no arguing oh, there's that. there's no question about that. But I think he had some injuries that he played through. In fact, I know he had some injuries that he played through. I remember them talking about it, right? You know, he's, he's, he's a talented kid. Well, and I'm going to say something now that they'll be standing out front throwing snowballs at me when, I'm the, when we're through. I like Bortles better. He's a better runner. He's a better runner. Yeah. He's, yeah. Not, he's not as good a passer, though. No, Bortles he's not. is just, 
He just misses it's way too many openings. Yeah, but easy you know passes. what, though, Mariota stinks. Mariota isn't exactly uh, honed in with radar either. No. I mean, boy, he no. missed some open guys. But uh, it's going to be interesting. You know what? This is going to be a fun offseason. Yeah, there's a lot of quarterback, potential quarterback movement. There's a bunch of moving pots yeah. here. Including some of the guys that are playing this weekend. That's exactly right. right. Minnesota. On the road, yeah. Favorites, Philadelphia, the three-point underdog. Yeah, I think uh, I've loved betting Philly all year. They've been a pretty good yep. bet overall this yep. year. Yeah, but I think I'm going to go Minnesota. Plus, yep. I think the league wants Minnesota, right? They want this home team <sighs> Super Bowl. I am going to go with Philadelphia. I yeah, I can see it. I'm going, to, I'm going to be rooting for Philadelphia. Foles is he free agent at the end of the year? I believe he is a free agent. I believe Foles is a free agent, and uh, uh, the guy who played for the Jets who got hurt, McCown. Yeah, there's some guys around with talent that you could grab. Stick them out there for a year or two until your number one yeah. draft choice uh, yeah. was old enough to shave. And they're talking now about four, maybe five first-round picks yeah. being a quarterback. Yeah, there's a bunch of quarterbacks coming up. Right, but yeah. they're all kind of grouped together. It's like, who do you like? There's no real the, clear. And you got the top two, and even the top two doesn't seem to be agreement as to Maybe there's which no wrong which. answer here. Right. Well, it's going to be interesting to see because uh, we're going to do something later on about that. Okay, good. There, taking care of that. Now, uh, shall we talk about the Red Sox? First? Yeah. Or shall we do the Patriots? Well, we can talk about the pa uh, Red Sox because they haven't been doing much. All right. Here's the big story. Um, ben and Tendi, yeah. Andrew Ben and Tendi, got a haircut. He did. Yep. Wow. He had uh, a few weddings to go to, and he got a haircut. Well, that makes it a successful off-season. <laughs> Where else do you get stories like That's right. this? You yeah. don't hear this stuff on the well, No wonder home. we haven't got a power head yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know whether we talked about this last time or not. I kept the slip. Uh, ben Intendi's agent yeah has been arrested that's what i understand yeah for filming taping or whatever the hell they do recording some of his clients in the shower yeah i heard that mm. that was uh rather odd yeah I heard he, that. he lost his uh, position with the um outfit that he was with and i guess he was one of the principals well yeah I don't know what to say about that, Bill. That's uh, <laughs> not what you expect for one of that. Really? I can't imagine Scott Boris doing that. Can you imagine <laughs> the uh, uh, um, Jason Wood? Can you imagine Jason Wood bumping into some 365-pound lineman that said, Come over here. <laughs> I took a shower at that house. Yeah. Come over here and talk to me. Yeah. I wonder how fast he could run. As fast as he could. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it was Ndamukong Sue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, so Ben Attendee will be getting a new agent. I just hope it's not Scott Boris. Oh, wouldn't that really yeah. rot your socks, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Boone Logan and the Milwaukee Brewers finalized a one-year, $2.5 million contract. He's a left-handed reliever. Yeah. The Red could, Sox are looking for one. We still need one. I wonder one. how the heck hard they're looking. Doesn't appear to be right. Uh, most of the relief uh, market has signed. Yeah. Now, still a lot of players out there, but relievers, uh, it's getting, getting thin. Addison Reed signed the other day. I know, I saw that, yeah. and I was really mad. Uh, two years, 16 mil? Mm-hmm. Eight mil a year is mighty healthy chump change for that lad. Yeah. But by the same token... If you got near and run average of three and you can make 55 appearances or 60 appearances, that's, boy, you're worth it. Yeah, that's the yeah, price. That's it. Now, listen to this. According to Dombrowski, ignore the noise. Uh, 
on the he's been saying the roster is fine, but Michael Silverman says the roster is not fine. Mm. Yeah. Who are we to believe? Yeah, I lean towards more Silverman. <laughs> Now, tell you know, me you something. Need a, you, have, you have so many question marks, so it would all have to turn up roses for you to have, you know, if Every, everybody in that lineup hit, including Hanley. Yeah, I had then, career seasons. you know, maybe you got some offense, right? Yes, and uh, a faith healer came and laid hands on Pedroia's right. knee. Right. And made him good as new. But that's the problem. That's assuming everybody has yeah. a big yeah. bounce back year. And nobody gets hurt. That's a well. Do you see that, boy? That's the wild that's, card, that's the isn't it? Always. Yeah. So, I do mean, they need another big time bat? Yeah. Yes. That, that's do. always snake eyes. You know, they you do. Do, you never know when you're going to roll that right. and go bust. I don't now, like JD Martinez. As what they're talking about now, five years, 125, 25 a year for five years. I don't like that. Well, I like that a lot better than seven years of seeing them kicking around here. Well, I do too. I, I agree with that, but you, I don't know, you know, locking that guy up, the, 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 he um, had his career year, yeah, and um, he did have a career wasn't year. Wasn't it originally seven years? 210. 210. Right. Yes. That's what Boris wants. That's right. And then the Red Sox said no. Right. Um, five years. Uh, originally and, 100. They, yes. And, but now I'm hearing they've gone up to 125. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully, I think the Red Sox were going to hope Boris would cave and say, well, look, how about six? We yeah. do six at 22 or something. But Boris playing hardball with him. Yeah. He now, claims he's, gonna, he's willing to sit out into spring training. Yeah. So that's what I would do. I think he will. Yeah. But hitters... Become available. You know, you can you can get hitters during the year. Well, listen, Edwin Casoon was the perfect example right. of that last year. Right. Um, so, anyhow, so anyway, um, you know, I I still think I would like to see them as part of their five year plan signing Machado after the next off right. season. You know what? We'll have to scrub this, and we're going to have to do. We're going to go out of order here. Okay. We're going the wrong way. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Sorry. But that's okay. No, it's not your fault because you had no idea what yes. I got here. But I do have a question for you. Who is Blondie? Uh, She's got a Nesson uh, microphone. Oh, I've seen her before. Yeah, she... That's I, not the one that's on the field after the games, is it? I think it is. You I think it is. Yes, I, I think I think it's just the picture. She looks Austin, a little different. But uh, I think that's her. Uh, yeah. Garen Austin. Yeah, I forget her name, but yeah. Oh dear. I think that's her. Uh, head on is a little jarring mm, there. Isn't it? Yeah, not the best picture. No, it was probably a bad film in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh wait, enough of this. So. I came up with predictions. Predictions. And perhaps that's where we'll just have to start. Okay. So, I'm going to skip the Patriots. We'll come back to them. The Boston Red Sox won 93 games last year. Yeah. How will they fear this year? Especially in light of Dombrowski's statement, I like this roster. I'm ready to start the season with these guys. Yeah. Is he insane? I think so. Yeah, okay. I think they're like 85 wins right Is now. Is he drinking maybe. that, that backwater yeah. that it's like puddles up in the Fenway? Well, I don't know. It's hard to de decipher what their actual plan is, right? Does he really think by saying that he's bluffing anyone? I mean, you'd have to be a madman to be happy with this mismatch that he's yeah. got for a roster. Well, I think he wants to sign J.D. Martinez. Well, I, I, but yeah. But I'm just it, not so it, sure. Yeah, it, it's you need to lock like, that that big chunk of salary like up for the next five years. Girl that you always wanted to date, but you didn't want to get shot down, so you'd kind of just hang in the area yeah. and throw her a beer once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, predictions. Yeah. Who will he sign? So, in other words, will he sign? 
I think, I think, uh, yeah. He'll, he'll. I think he's going to break down and sign. He's going to do it. Yeah. And it's probably going to be more than he wants to pay, but not as much as Boris. Because uh, if look, if Boris had somebody who said, yeah. Wait. "Look, I'll give you twenty five over well, six. Well, yeah. Well, that's what my concern is. This is exactly like when they signed Hanley. They gave Hanley that four year contract 22. for twenty two. Yeah. And who were they? Competing against themselves, they, there was nobody else bidding. Themselves, right? Do you remember? The, so they the, could have yeah. given him a four-year, fifteen million dollar contract and said, "Come back when you get a better offer." He wasn't going to get one. Do you, and I don't think Martinez is going to get a better offer, probably than five at a hundred. Do you remember when Mo Vaughn went to the uh, California yeah. Angels and they offered him sixty mil, and uh, there was just silence from the Vaughn camp. And yeah. they upped it to 70. They were right. bidding against themselves. Bidding against themselves. Yeah. yeah. So, and I think they did that with Hanley. Yeah. And I don't think they should do that here. So, they, you they know what? They certainly shouldn't have done it with Hanley. That's what damn well sure. I'm fine with going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boris and say, you know, if it was me, five, five years, 100, maybe five at 110. Yeah. That's it. That's it. If yeah. you get a better offer, sign it. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, it's like having a used car in your front yard with a sign, and some yeah. guy says, "Wait, well, you kidding me? You want two grand for that? I'll give you fifteen hundred. Right? You know? And you say, no, no, I don't think so. You right. know? Well, if you get a better offer, yeah, take it because I'm not going to budge on right. it. Right? Yeah, that's what I would do here. Maybe that's what they're doing. Although it doesn't seem like they negotiate that way. I, I'm not sure what the devil they do. Because I haven't, you know, where else is Martinez going to go? Arizona would be interested, in, is supposedly interested in bringing him back, but they're not going over twenty million a year for him. No, and San, they're not going seven years or six years or. San Francisco's so, out because you can't hit the ball to right field right. and hit it out of the park if you're right-handed. And they've made a couple of other moves, they, right? They sure have. McCutcheon, for one. Yeah. That was a steal. Yeah. And those weren't even top prospects. And didn't they get... Pittsburgh got. Did they get Longoria? They got Longoria. They, so they got Longoria. And they didn't and, give up top prospects right. for him either. So I don't see them being interested in, in Martinez. In the Yankees aren't going to be interested in them. You know, if I were running the Red Sox. Mets? Maybe. Uh, yeah, they, there's been zero word that they have expressed any interest. Yeah, they haven't really. They'd have, yeah. They would have the money, but. Yeah, but. Eh. I don't think so. The Cubs? That doesn't, doesn't seem no, like it. No, the Cubs are spending money. So like who, who else is, who are we bidding against here? <laughs> Seattle, Seattle always seems to need another bat. Now, they got the money, but they won't spend it. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, so I'm okay signing them, yeah. but, you know, five at 20, five for 100, maybe 110, 22 a year. Yeah. That's it. That's it, is right. You got Hanley for one more year at 22, and then he's gone. Well, I'll tell you what. I believe that if uh, they sign Martinez, Hanley will go for 10 cents on the dollar, but they will get rid of him. Yeah. Well, because he could be a cancer on well, that team. If they're, if they're willing to eat, say, 12 out of that 22. Oh, yeah. So the acquiring team has to pay him 10. Yep. They can move him. I think so. Yeah. And do you know who might be interested in Miami? Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, they love the, the yeah. uh, Spanish-speaking uh, kids down there. They think it helps their gait. And uh, he's been there before. So they, I think they could move him if they're yep. going to eat money. You're gonna, yep. And you're going to pay it anyway, so eat it and get him out of here. Look, when he sits on the bench and he says, I got to get my 505 at bat. Well, he has that is. vesting. Yeah. And, and they say, well, you're not it, getting it could happen. You know, we got Martinez. And yeah. where do you think you're going to play? Yeah. You know, it ain't going to happen. We re-signed our first baseman. Um, it ain't going to happen, Hanley. Well, then he's going to want to go. Right. And he'll say to his agent, get me out of here. Yeah. Because they're, they're not going to pay me that 19 or whatever it is. It's not full, a full 22. I believe it's 19. Is it? On the yeah. opposite it kicks in? Yeah. 
Well, all the more reason to move them early in the year, and then the acquiring team can decide whether they want to do that or not. That's exactly right. So, exactly. And not only that, if you could figure out how to do that, those two pieces, and bring J.D. Martinez in at 22 for five years, okay. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah. And, and you know what? But once you start talking about paying Martinez 25, oh. 27, oh. no. Because, like I said, in my mind, I want to get thinking, you know, down the road here, I'd like to see Machado at third. He'd come in here and hit 40 home runs. He'd be that power. He'd be the cleanup hitter. He's a gold glove caliber third baseman. By the by, um, I thought that was a done deal, Hosmer, out in Kansas City. No, not yet. He hasn't signed it. No. Appears to be them in San Diego. Yeah. Kansas, I think so, he's going to end up in back in Kansas City, and I think that's good. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, again, I'm Berman Dembrowski for all of this, but boy, I sure as hell would rather have Hosmer at first base. Yeah, I mean, Hosmer was a solid player, not the classic power hitter. In the, no, but 325. Know, but he get a 300 hitter, somewhere between 18 and you know 25, 25 on a good runs. year. Yeah, 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 a bunch of RBIs. Solid defensively. Uh, and, and a super guy in the clubhouse. That's what they say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it seems it, clear the Sox aren't after him, though. It seems to be down to Kansas City and San Disney Diego. Does he change his underwear or socks? I don't know. Or, uh, I don't know. Um, if you had your way, what holes exist on the Red Sox? And in what order of importance would you address the needs? Well, number one is another productive bat and lineup in one of the combinations that we've kind of been talking about, you know, making a couple of things move. Number two for me is a left-handed reliever. I'm not, I think our left-handed relief is average at best. And well, not even average at best, yes, probably. Yes, no, no, Robbie and, Scott's the best we got. Right. And he's from now, the uh, uh, I League. Most of the guys are gone. There's still, uh, oh, what's his name? Scott, was it the guy who was pitched for Pittsburgh, I think, the last couple of years? There's one guy out there, but. Boy, if he's or with maybe Pittsburgh, you can trade, they haven't trade, a fire but, sale. But anyway, I think they need a left handed reliever. Uh, no question. Right. No question. And then beyond that, it's probably that, whatever you want to call it, that fifth infielder, somebody mm -hmm. who can sub Bedroya, you know. Now, and I don't know if they, ha they might have that guy already, I'm not sure. Well, uh, you've got Marco Hernandez. Yeah. Uh, you got Yu Sing Wing, or whatever the Deccans' his name was. Yeah. Um, and, and you still got uh, the good hit, uh, good field, no hit, shot stop uh, that bums around, uh, whatever his name is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Who can? Yeah. Who can uh, he's got the glove. Yeah, he's got a golden glove. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, they got some. Pieces and parts yeah. that don't quite meld together. Yeah. But I think the Taiwanese kid, I think out of the bunch, uh, maybe the keeper. Yeah. Play center field too. Well, that's the thing. That's the next thing on my list is the fourth outfielder. Yeah. You know, well, young, then, young, young is gone as he should have been. Yep. Replace Young. Good idea. We haven't replaced Young yet, and that I'm aware of. That's right. So, that's right. what's up with that? I, I, we're talking about. This is the year that Bryce Brents gets. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he hit. I think you need more depth than that. One so. home runs. Yeah. Hit two eighty-five or something. He's adequate defensively. Mm -hmm. Um. In. And he's cheap. And he's real cheap. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe he's better. Maybe than, than some of the other things that are out there. Certainly, is cheaper than some of everything else that's out there. Right. So who knows? Um, yeah, and and you know what? Uh, <sighs> and I still think there's that they're probably going to do something there. I think there's still a bunch of guys out there. Yeah. It's, you know, it is going to. Maybe it's not going to be J.D. Or Martinez, but it is going to suddenly be the week before spring training starts, and there's a lot of guys out there that haven't signed yet. Well, tell me Hunter Pence is still out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a fourth outfielder, I think, you know, there's going yeah. to be some guys around. Yeah. 
Uh, Roger it, Davis types, you know. That's right. Yeah. I was just going to say, doesn't have to hit a ton. Right. If he can run yeah. and field and throw. Run the bases. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I mean, I don't need anything more than that. We're right. not going to play him 100 right. games a year. So I think there's, there's still some of those guys out there. Yeah. Maybe a veteran. Yeah. Yeah. As you say, Rajay Davis. Yeah. Now, now Rajay is, well, the sun is setting on his career, right. I think. But you know what? You bring him back for real short yeah. money. That type of guy, though. Yeah. And I think they're, they're out there. They're out there. Yeah. The Red Sox have signed a three-year extension as they continue the three-corner dance between the Red Sox, the city of Pawtucket, and the state of Rhode Island. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the Worcester smoke screen has been exposed for what it was, a stocking horse of sorts. Yes. This thing could end up being very ugly. It could be, yeah. yeah because uh, there's no doubt that Larry Lucchino wants to make money down there. Mm -hmm. And he thinks the only way you can do it is with a new stadium. Right. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not sure about that at all. I mean, they had some wonderful seasons down there when they had 11,000 people down there on an average. Holy right. cow. They yeah. were profitable as hell. Yeah. Uh, but right now, last year was not a good year for attendance. Right. Yeah, I know the night you and I went, it was... Yeah, it was... Were, Sparse, yeah. I mean, honestly. And I already paid for my tickets for next year, for this year. But they're doing something different. This is so stupid. But they wouldn't give them to me. I, I said, well, why not? Well, we're going to have a party. <laughs> Appreciation Night Party, and really? some of the players are going to be here, and you can pick them up. They'll all be in a sealed envelope with your name on it, and, uh, and Larry's going to be here, and... Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? And I'm saying to myself, oh, wait a minute, I've already paid for these damn things. Yeah. They got my money. Just send my tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Almighty. I want to go down there and drink diet soda. Right. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Talk to Larry. <laughs> <laughs> He's still my pounding heart. The Celtics <laughs> continue to surprise. Yeah, it's been pretty solid. But a couple of chinks in the arm I have yeah. appeared. It's a long season. If Kyrie is out, there's trouble. Marcus Smart's progression on the offensive side has slowed or even flattened. This hurts his possible trade value. Uh, yeah, I think it does, but... But I think it, worse, worse yet, though, is Morris's balky knee. Morris has shown us that he can be a hell of yeah, a player. they really need him. Yeah, and they really need him in... I don't know, reading between the lines, I don't think there's a surgical fix for this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like a recurring issue. Yeah, yeah. It almost sounds like arthritis uh, yeah. severely. And uh, But I'll tell you what, healthy, he's a heck of a player. He is. Never appreciated him before I saw him in the green. You know who was drafted right after him, the next pick? Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> Just a tidbit. You know, uh, yeah. his, he and his brother went back to back yeah. in the draft, yeah. uh, and, thirteen and fourteen, and then Kawhi Leonard got picked. 15. And the kid uh, that is in the running, uh, in fact, is running away with the uh, uh, Rookie of the Year award in the National Hockey League, Bashak or ba yeah, Bashak, I think. Yeah, was dra the Bruins had picks thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Remember the way they picked yeah. the three number ones in a row? He was picked sixteen. He was picked sixteen. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that. It was in the paper yesterday. Oh, wow. No kidding. <laughs> wasn't the Bruins that released that news? <laughs> no, I'm sure it wasn't. The Bruins continue to amaze. Yeah. Look at their numbers. This team is tied for third place in points. Yeah, they're doing really well. But one of the teams they're tied with, they got two games in hand on. Mm-hmm. So they really are tied with two teams. 
Well, it's they, you know the last what four to six weeks they've been they've yeah unbelievable. Ten oh four, I think it is. Uh, so I like what they're doing, playing the young kids. Some of them are really showing promise, right? They are indeed. I mean, the kid Heinen, he's like, he's got like yeah. thirty-one points. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, Grizz, Grizz, Grizz I, luck, yeah, the defense man. Yeah, this kid he just looked, he, he's a, uh, I think he's point. Uh, I know he was plus thirteen, and he's only played like less, yeah. well, less than half the year. Yeah, he looks like and, he belongs. Yeah. What? So I mean, you think about it, and in what the last two seasons they've brought. Grizzlick, Carlo, and McAvoy. Yes, up, indeed. Through the system. And up they to got the O'Gara down there in Pawtucket, right. Providence. Yeah. And they don't have room for him. Right. Yeah. Oh, they're going to have to do something about that. So. Uh, and you know, the funny part about it is um, I just happen to have a, a little bit of a headline here. Um, and how about the brusque? I like the brusque, too. Do you know what? It looks good. Uh, he gets out there, and this is always the only guy on the ice. He doesn't yeah. really care who the heck is he's out there with. Um, he looks mighty good. Here it is. I found it at the bottom. This, I don't like this. O'Gara's stock rising. For deep Bruins, it may apply as a trade chip. Yeah. Now, this is really great, you know? You got this kid, he's playing really well. Yeah. And, oh, I got a great idea. Let's trade him. Right. Well, that's the big question with this team, right? Now, coming into this team, into this year, you thought, okay, it's a rebuilding year, essentially. They're gonna go ahead and play the kids. We talked about it. What do you want to do? Play the kids. Let's play the kids. Even if we miss the playoffs, let's play the kids. Yeah. So they're playing the kids. It's working out better than anyone could have yep. hoped, hoped, really. Yeah. I, I mean. <coughs> and Tuca's gotten hot. I really so, like. Yeah. I yeah, like. But the question is now at the trade deadline, what do you do? Well, I Should like you be Adam McQuaid. Yeah. Okay. But I'll tell you what. I want to keep this lad. Over. Okay. And let's uh, send McQuaid off to a team that's struggling to make the playoffs. Um, yeah that might be interested in a tough guy, a leader, that'll play strong yeah, defense. Yeah, I would tend to agree with that. Yeah. you still got Kevin Miller. That's right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so Who's had a good year. He has. He's played he's better played than I, all right. He's played better than I thought he could, quite frankly. I think he's been pretty good. <sighs> Colin Miller was the better skater of the two. Yeah. But they said Kevin Miller worked on his skating I was going to say, I summer. think his skating is much better yeah. th this yeah. year than in prior years. Yeah. Uh, the Bruins, uh, they are second in plus minus. Is that right? Yeah, team plus minus. They're a plus 35, trailing only Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, yeah. And the Bruins are the only team in the league with both of their goalies in the top 10. Is that right? Yeah. For uh, goals allowed. Yeah, uh, Hadobin's Grask, been good. Grask is three. Hadobin is number eight. Hmm. And Hadobin's been a good, pleasant surprise. I wasn't at all confident of him the, going into the year. The guys really like him. He's got this quirky yeah. sense of humor. They say he says crazy things. Uh, finally. Old man Zdeno Chara, yeah, who I was all set to put in a rest hole. Yeah, me too. Is third in the NHL in plus minus. Wow. Yep. And he's with, playing well. Yeah, with twenty two. Oh, you know what? He's standing still. Yeah. And pushing people back away. But I, from I, I the think crease. that him with McElvoy's speed, I think yes. that's a nice complementary pair. This is a great. Deal for McAvoy. Yeah. There's no pressure on him when he goes right. out there. Right. And no, he doesn't have the weight like of the team parent. on his I shoulder. Like that parent. Yeah. yeah. And he's out there with the captain. Yeah. Then the captain says, Don't worry, kiddo. So, you know, Chara supposedly has made comments that he'd like to play, you know, another four or five years. Yeah, I can say, as long as they're just one year contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Year, <laughs> let's go a year at a time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, like they did with Johnny Busick at the end of his career. 
God, yeah. I think he was 43 or 44 when he finally hung him up. I remember sitting in Boston Garden Institute to talk to the kid at the season tickets to sat beside me. And I, I remember one comment I made. I said, you know what? Busick is the best 40-year-old player that ever played hockey. Yeah, uh, the Gordie Howe fans might argue with that, but... Well, oh, oh, Gordo was the nicest guy you'd ever want to meet in your <laughs> life. <laughs> he had a fist on him, though. Oh, yeah. I shook hands with him. And, Did you? Yeah. A nice guy. He yeah. signed uh, three pictures for me. And guess who was with him? Who? They were both, at the end of their career, with the Hartford Whalers, Bobby Hull. Oh, wow. Yeah. I got them both. I had Gordy Howe and Bobby Hull Bobby together. Hull together. They were getting wow. in a taxi cab, and they and Gordy said, "Hang on, Bobby, and come back," and signed. Uh, I got three pictures, and Bobby Hull too. And I used to get pictures from a photographer out in California, and that was his hobby. He was a retired Air Force man, and he'd go to all the baseball games out there, all the hockey games out there, and he had press pass. And he used to sell his pictures to the bubblegum uh, card companies huh. and to Street and Smith Baseball Annual. Yeah. And um, he didn't <coughs> like selling them because it was violating the license with the Major League Baseball. and Major. But he and I became friendly, um, and uh, he sold me hundreds of pictures. Really? But the really neat part was I'd hand them to guys, and they'd say, I've never seen this picture before. Huh. Geez, this is great. This is a good picture. Yeah. yeah. Could you send me one of these? <laughs> I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll send you a couple of them. And, uh, yeah. Maybe you can sign another one for me and send it back. <laughs> and, uh, but you can't believe how many players said that huh. to me. And Bobby Hull That's said the same thing. No yeah, kidding. Yeah. But, um, and you know what? And they were the greatest guys in the world, the hockey guys, to get mm -hmm. autographs from. Is and, that, I'm not surprised and, to hear that. You know that, what? Right? A lot of times they standing around outside with a can of beer or two cans of beer and waiting for their bus to pull up. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes the bus was there, but they'd stand outside and drink a couple of cans of ale. That's what the Canadians yeah. call beer is yeah. ale. Uh, and uh, they'd shoot the breeze with you about That's hockey. interesting. That's and, great. You, and, Phil Esposito, you couldn't shut him up. Huh. You get him talking about hockey, and he loves it. <laughs> and boy, I'll tell you, in stories. Oh, uh, well, yeah, great. I can only imagine. Yep. And Tony Esposito, the exact opposite, a miserable, miserable guy. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Huh. But, and he was very rare, one of the few. Yeah, hockey players have a reputation it's for right, being yeah. there was a, just good There guys. was a defensive yeah. forward that bummed around for Detroit and New York, um, Billy Collins. He wouldn't sign anything. Is that right? Yeah. Get away from me. Huh. <laughs> but that, that, that was it, boy. There wasn't many guys yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so you got uh, Zidane Uchara is third in the NHL plus minus. That's pretty impressive. And Bergie. It's ninth, but uh, Chara has 22 and Berger, Bergeron has 20. There's like four guys with 21. Okay. Including old friend Riley Smith. No kidding. Riley Smith? Yeah, that's out with um, Las Vegas. Huh. Yeah, what's this story with Las Vegas? How about that Las Vegas team, huh? Unbelievable. I mean, they just, expansion yeah. team. I, I mean, they get the team together. I believe, and I got it in here someplace, I'll find it, but I think they got the second most points in the league. I believe that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Nobody and his brother and on defense and Yeah. It's But you think back to in the past when the NHL has had expansion teams, I mean they stink. Six wins. All right. 49 losses yeah. and 20 ties in right. the first year. Yeah. It's a night off for everybody in the first right. year. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. And now this team is just kicking butt. I know it. It's unbelievable. They're playing a system. They're playing in front of a full house every single bloody night. Are they? Yeah. 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 And, and it's funny, too, because um, the, the word came out that they're not, not sending tickets to the casinos to give to good customers. 
Hmm. They don't have to. They're selling it up. Huh. That's so, pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, that'd be a, you know, I, I think the same thing with the Raiders. You know, that for, for t uh, fans of teams from other cities, it's a great trip. Like, let's go to Vegas. The bees are there. We'll see the game. We'll spend a couple of days in Vegas. Yeah, how can you go wrong? Right. Yeah, so I would think they'd do very well off that, you know. Yeah. I've I, often thought, too, that New Orleans would support a Major League Baseball team, too. Yeah. Uh, they'd have to build something 20 or 30 miles outside of New Orleans, it seems to me. But Probably. they've got good highways down there. Yeah. Um, and it's a destination city. Right. Yeah. Hey, we can go down and follow the Sox to New Orleans. And yeah. Eat some shrimp and touffet. And Drink some Abita Amber beer. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so, now we're back with the Patriots. Okay, good. Uh, so, predictions. Yeah. Patriots in Jacksonville. You like the Patriots. I do. Yeah. I like them, I think, uh, I would say 31 17. Yeah, yeah, two touchdowns. Yeah. yeah. And that's pretty much what the guy in the record, uh, the Herald said this morning. So, that's too. assuming that. Brady's okay, which yeah. I think he is. I heard coming in today, you know, the report is that we're here now. People watching this have already already know what it was, but that he tore the flap here, took some stitches, and he's basically going to be okay. He did, he was in fact throwing the ball around a bit today. So, if he's okay, I think they they beat them fairly easily because I don't think uh, they're going to be able to put up more than 20 points against the Patriots' defense. Do you know that, and that's why I asked you whether the Patriots are that good, uh, the other teams are that bad, because it seems to me when uh, a playoff game rolls around or a big game during the season and Belichick sits down and develops a game plan, he usually blows the other guy's doors off. He does. It's not even close. Mm. And, you know, his whole thing is, you know, it's almost like he doesn't, almost doesn't care about how good players are. It's just, can you do this in this mm. system? You know, and that's why, you know, he gets all these guys from practice squad. Who is this guy Butler, right. the down lineman? Yeah. Yeah. Undrafted rookie. Undrafted rookie. Yeah. And look at his, he's getting regular uh, time out there. Yeah, and I part mean, of that's injury, right? Yeah, They've got a, yeah. quite a few injuries this year. And then he year. picks up these bozos. Um, but, uh, you know, I, to that point, I, I was shocked that Branch wasn't dressed because Branch said he was going to be, he was ready to go. Yeah. And I think he didn't dress because well, Butler's taking his job. Maybe Branch wanted in, but he may not have the mobility. And, yeah, uh, I don't know. But, and it may be, too, that Belichick said, you know, we're going to win. Right. Without you, Alan. With you or without you, let's save you for next week. Or I hope, like I hope that. that's the case. Yeah. Me, too. But you know what? Because they need to stop the run this if week. If it's not, this guy has eaten himself out of Foxborough. Yeah, maybe. I mean, what the heck is he, about two, 370 now? Mm. I mean, I saw him the other day. Um, a side shot of him with his belly hanging out. For God's sakes, he looked like a submarine. Is that right? Wow. Wow. Um, so, the Vikings and the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, you like the Vikes? I do like the Vikings, but <coughs> I'm wary of the Eagles. Yeah, me too. At, playing at home. In Philadelphia. Yeah, yep. playing at home. Fans are going to be crazy. They got the disrespect card. To play. That's exactly right. right. We're underdogs at home. Uh, yeah. they, last week they did a good job of not asking Foles to do too much. They had a good game plan. It was pretty simple. Hit the hit the short throws. Hit the third down throws, and he did. Yeah. You know. Well, he's going to be up against a different bunch of critters this time. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota's pretty strong. Right. Uh, and, and we haven't seen them enough to. To really know them, and I think we're going to see them, though. Yeah, I think that defense is good. Um, so I think Minnesota wins. I do. Yeah. I, I'm picking the Eagles, uh, mainly because of the fans. I'll be rooting for the Eagles. Yeah, I know. Even though I think Minnesota's going to win. Just talking, I think Minnesota's going to win the game. 
But I'll be rooting for the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for the Eagles, too. You know, part of that is uh, who do you want, you know, not to look ahead, but who would you rather play in the Super Bowl, Minnesota I, or Philadelphia? I don't want to go up and play Minnesota in their in home Minnesota. field. Yeah. yeah. Now, in a way, I kind of do want to do that because that would be really? the ultimate. Go up there, it would be all Smack the hoopla. Up right in the nose. First home team, all the media hoopla. It'll be there. Oh, this is unbelievable. Minnesota. Blah, blah, blah. And then Patriots come in and win the game. And just, sh it all stops. By the you by, know? when the Patriots fell behind seven to nothing last week. Yeah. Who are the two happiest people in the world? I'll give you a hint. They were in the TV booth. They were. Tony Romo was waxing enthusiastically oh. about the uh, And then the Jaguars. Patriots came down. And he mentioned the point spread. Yeah. Without yes. And say, oh, you don't people usually oh, oh. do that, and Tony. And they come back and easily cover it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then. First the, quarter, Tony. And then the Patriots start smacking them around. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't stop these guys. They're, yeah. they're great, you yeah. know. And, uh, so I did notice that. Now, overall, I, I like Romo. I know. I think he's okay. Because he sees things. And yes. he. He's, I'm, so many times when he'll, right before the snap, he'll say, they're going to do this. And it's exactly what they do. Mm. You know? Yeah. So I think he knows what he's talking oh, about. I think he does, too. Yeah. I think he talks a little too much, however. Yeah. Um, so we're going to end up with who in the Super Bowl? The Patriots? Well, I think we're going to end up with Minnesota and New England. The Vikes, huh? Yeah, that's the way it looks to me, too. Um, it's yeah. going to be up there, so, yeah. We'll I mean, that. I wouldn't be shocked if Philly won. I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I no. wouldn't either. Yeah, their defense and, and, is good. They've got their own good defense. And, and you know what? And how crazy is this? Then they both go up to Minnesota's home field yeah. to play in the Super Bowl. Yeah. And the Minnesota, the only way they're going to get in is if they buy a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Pats coaching staff next year. Yes. What's it going to look like? It's going to look a lot different, right? Looks like those two guys are going. Yep. So... I don't know. I think they're going to fill it in for internally mainly. But I think the guy, the outsider, who could come here, Greg Schiano. Really? Yeah. You know, he ran into the fiasco with Tennessee. Yes, he did. Right? And so. And Belichick likes him. Oh, they're tight. Yeah. They're tight, yes. He's He was the Rutgers coach, right, for McCourty. Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing. He's. He's coached a lot of the players in the team at Rutgers, right? Yeah. <laughs> he was the Rutgers connection with Shiano. Yeah. I'm surprised. So it wouldn't shock me at all if he was on the yeah. staff next year. I'm surprised that Belichick hasn't tapped either Alabama or Ohio State assistants more yeah. than he does. And it must be out of respect well, for you know, his friends. It was interesting, you know, uh, Brian Dable, who was recently the Alabama, came out of the Patriots. So he was hired. At Alabama. Well, say his career, he was originally hired here when he was just a kid, Yeah. right? Worked here for a few years, established his own network. He was the one who recommended Josh McDaniels to Bill Belichick. It was Brian Davis. I didn't know that. Yeah. And Daniels was brought in as a, an assistant. You know, he was mm -hmm. whatever running back coach or something. And then he also recommended um, the front office guy we have now. Uh, uh, C, uh, uh, yeah. CES something or other. Yeah. So he recommended both of those guys. So yep. I was wondering if he might end up here as offensive coordinator, but Buffalo hired him. Uh, but yeah. Buffalo beat everybody to the punch and hired him as offensive coordinator. So Buffalo is putting together an organization. Yeah. I finally told those two owners up there, you want me to put together an organization, I'll do it. Keep your hands the hell off it. Right. We'll see what happens. Right. You can sit, come down on the sidelines when we win. That's it. I so don't Shiano want anything else. now, right, is where, I forget where he is. Uh... But I think he's going to end up Houston? here. Maybe. With Billy yeah, he was, was he? he was going to leave and go to Tennessee to be head coach, and then yeah. 
that didn't because work. of the Penn State yep. connection, right? Yep. It was a problem. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, but so, uh, um, but I could see Belichick bringing him in here. Yeah, now there's also um, Flores. Yeah, who's, uh, who might get a, a bump up? Right. They like him. Right. Um, and there's another kid too that's a backup uh, offensive coordinator that they think a lot of. No, who knows? Right. Then again, maybe some out of work. And they uh, get Belichick's two kids. Yeah. Now that, I don't like that. Yeah. Well, uh, one of them is right now the what defensive backs coach. Yeah. So. You know. It, you know, I I know a lot of guys that have been in business, and uh, the kids went to college. Yeah. And they said. Go find a job. Mm. When you got four or five or six years under your belt, you get an idea of what's going on. We'll talk about you coming back and coming in Dad's company. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Um. So the. Uh, okay. So will Brady retire if he wins the Super Bowl? Can you see no. him doing that? No. No. He is absolutely going to be. He's there. still building his brand for post retirement. For his retirement years, the TV There'll 12. be statues of him every square inch yeah. of New England. Yeah, I expect him here for a minimum of two more years. Okay. Will Edelman return? Yes. And will he be 100%? I think he'll be okay. Yeah. The way they do these surgeries now, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. These guys come back. And, they, and, you know? and, and they make sure they stay out and re rehabilitate right. it properly. And Edelman will do whatever it takes. Um, yes. He's a driven, right. driven right. character. How about Haito? Uh, I think he'll be back. And uh, I don't think it'll be next year, but I think he's gonna, it's going to be one of these years at the end of training camp when we're all going to be shocked when he gets cut. Like Richard Seymour. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be next year. Yeah, it, uh, we'll it see all see how he recovers. So but now we're, we're getting finally to the question I, I was angling for. The upcoming draft, will the Pats go for the best guy on the board, or will they draft by need? Well, I think they'll do both, like they, they always do, right? They've got some extra picks this year. Now they got two, two twos. They he tra he they're going to lose their four, that. but they're going to get two compensatory fours. So, um, Will he trade, think they'll trade down? Yes, yes. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing right now. I, I almost <laughs> guarantee you, he will not use that San Francisco pick. He will not have a single player that's identified as what you got for Jimmy Garoppolo. He'll trade that pick down, <laughs> and he will get other picks, yeah. and then he'll trade some of those yeah. out, yeah. and you'll eventually never know. you'll never be never able be to able connect to the dots <laughs> as to exactly what they finally got for Jimmy Garoppolo. So. I think there is no way they end up picking that San Francisco pick. I think. Uh, so what specifically are their biggest needs? Linebacker. Yeah. Number uh, one. The, the, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you win the prize. Yeah. Uh, because I, I, if you would ask me that, I would have said the biggest, baddest linebacker yeah. in college football. Absolutely. <laughs> and in fact, they, I think they need more than one. I think they need two. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't like... Uh, Eldon Roberts out there. Right, and Landon Roberts. And, Landon and Roberts, yeah. I mean, he, God almighty, he's the size of one of my kids. Now, this kid, this kid, the undrafted kid this year, Flowers, the other Flowers. Has done well. He's a keeper. He's a keeper, is right. right. Undrafted, but he's, he's made yeah. plays. Yeah. So, you and, know, and, uh, that's why I think Hightower does come back. One or two of these other guys come back, and hopefully they bring some youth in. Van Noy looks good. Yeah, Knock Van Noy comes boy, back. Boy, think, we, yeah, Van, um, they like, they, and they like Van Noy. Yeah, he yeah. plays the system, right? So, Van Noy comes back. So I think they need a couple. Yeah, I think so too. And, and to me, that's the top priority. Yep. Yeah. And do you know what? And then they the, they really go unless they're a super linebacker. They really go in the top fifteen or twenty. Yeah. You, you can find them in the second and third round. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, um, absolutely. In and, fact. For all the press that he got, Keekley, uh, I think he was like ninth overall. Yeah. Um, they, he was one of the highest picked there in quite a while. So linebacker is maybe one and two for me. Yep. Uh, another thing I'd like to see them address, though, is tight end. Get another young tight end here. Gronk, 
Yeah. Junior. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what the draft looks like this year. You can find one. You can find them. Yeah. You can find so, one. So uh, I'd like to see them <clears throat> do that. Um, I'd like to see them do that, too. Um, and, then, and then, you know, quarterback. Yeah. Is there a quarterback that you see that, you know? Quarterback and a, a right tackle. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've seen uh, Ladrian uh, Waddle's He's done a act. good job filling he's in. He's done a good job. Yeah. yeah. But he seems to have ankle problems yeah. off and on. You know, I, I, I'd be concerned about left tackle, too. So is so well, getting yes. up there. Yeah, he is. Now, he's had a good year this year. He's had a he's good year. He's played well. Yeah. Uh, but, he's, but, but you're right. Yeah. Uh, a couple of linemen on the fourth round. And that's where they found... Um, yeah, now they drafted a tackle this year who went on IR and training camp. Yeah. He got hurt in camp. So yeah. they, found, they found Thune on the first, right. fourth round. So those they, guys... So the there. thing is, you don't know about the kids they drafted this year, right? They did draft a tackle this year who got hurt in camp. Defensive line, right? The, the kid Rivers, they, they have a couple of guys. So, uh, you, you, so to you me, know, the, the glaring hole is linebacker. Do you know who uh, has had a couple of good games this year, but it sort of faded into the sunset as Brown. Hmm. Um, I really thought that he was going to be something special. Yeah. Maybe he's hurt. Maybe he's got a bad shoulder. Or Maybe. Who knows? Uh, but... He's one of those guys that, yeah, uh, yeah uh, well, the Patriots sent Brown in a number four draft choice and got a number two back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Could be. Could be. He's been, you know, overall, I don't know. You know, the way they play, his job sometimes is just, is just take up space. Take That's out, take exactly a, right. Tie up a couple of blockers. Like Vince Wilfork yeah. used to do. Right. Uh, you know. We and don't need if, you to really tackle yeah, people. We don't need, you know, we need you to clog middle. up the middle. Get, take, you know, take a couple of offensive well, linemen out of the picture if you can. We'll have to have Denti Skanakia come in and talk to us about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gary, I think we did a good job at picking apart all this good stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, time flies. I think there'll be plenty uh, of uh, more stuff rolling down the pike right. as the Red Sox prepare for spring training. Indeed. Who now knows? Our next show will probably be right before the Super Bowl. Oh yes, Super Bowl fever. Yeah. And Patriot and the Red Sox. Holy cow! And the Bruins playing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Folks, listen. Go Patriots. Absolutely. And you've watched it and they've already won. <laughs> when you're if you're watching this, you know they already won. That's it. Yeah. This is uh Friday the nineteenth. Yeah, We're two days before this, the so. championship game. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, folks. And uh, stay safe, stay warm, and good night. Good night. Or good afternoon. Indeed. <laughs>